Is it windy in here or is it just me? Harnessing energy from the wind is not a new technology, but a team of researchers at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute are working on a new way to maximize it using jets of air. On this episode of Innovation Hall, we go inside the wind tunnel, literally, to check out this revolutionary new technology. Playing around in front of a simulated wind tunnel is fun. But we visited RPI Center for Flow Physics and Control for another reason, to talk to aerodynamics professor Michael Amate, who's done something really cool. He invented a mechanism that creates small puffs of air, AKA a synthetic jet. Can you tell me how it works? Yeah, so in a sense, the synthetic jets work similar to our lungs. It inhales and exhales air, in a sense. And the way it's done, instead of lungs, we have piezoelectric material. It's a material that expands and shrinks by applying different voltages to it. So when it moves back and forth, it creates puffs of air that come out of here. Let's have a little physics lesson. Imagine you're flying an airplane. The wing is cutting through the air. When the air is separated, it creates structural vibrations. But if you use directed puffs of air, AKA these synthetic jets, it helps smooth out the airflow and reduce or eliminate vibrations. So Professor Amate's idea was to use this technology to control the flow around these systems to improve the performance. It's been working on commercial airplanes for years, but now with wind energy on the rise, he's focusing on wind turbines. In 2018, wind energy generated 6.5% of the nation's electricity. That's 26 million homes powered and more than 96,000 megawatts, according to data from the American Wind Energy Association. There are a few issues with wind turbines. They're affected by atmospheric conditions like turbulence in the air, changing directions of the wind, and the size of the turbine. So clearly to capture wind energy, we need to have the wind turbines bigger and bigger. When you make them bigger and bigger, they're more susceptible to these atmospheric conditions and the blades may break. So if we can control the flow using these synthetic jets, we can control the structure vibrations. The simulator at the Center for Flow Physics and Control is a great place to test out these synthetic jets. That's where we found PhD candidate Thomas Rice. When a wind turbine manufacturer wants to sell its turbines to you know, anyone who uh, generates power, they want to tell them, you know, this turbine's gonna last you 15 years. But if that turbine lasts five years, that's going to reduce a lot of the profit you make off that turbine, right? So by increasing how long a turbine can last, you can get more energy out of that turbine and reduce the cost of wind energy in general. They've set up a wind turbine blade outfitted with synthetic jets inside the wind tunnel. They have cameras trained on the blade and a laser to illuminate the flow. Just look on the image as a function of time, you can really see the unsteadiness of the flow yeah. and shedding of structures. And that you said was going to that could and break that, the blade. And that can cause structural vibrations and can cause the blade to break, exactly. Now you see that the vibrations are significantly reduced, unsteadiness in the flow is reduced, and the flow is reattached to the surface. So they proved it works. What's next? Getting companies to sign on and start using it. Making changes to a full-scale wind turbine is a lot more challenging than it looks. So it's really good that we were able to bring this project in and do it on a kind of a small university scale level first um, and really show turbine manufacturers such as GE that, or you know, Bestus that this can work, we can actually do this. If this picks up, pun intended, what does the future hold? Which way will the wind blow? In New York, of course, there are multiple places that the wind is not consistent and so on. On roof of buildings, if you talk about small wind turbines where you need to have enough wind to generate power for the house, we can augment that with this technology. You mean everyone can have their own personal wind turbine? Exactly that. So to have personal wind turbine that will generate enough power for a house, but to work throughout the day and night and summer, winter and so on. Support for Innovation Hall comes from the Bender Scientific Fund of the Community Foundation for the Greater Capital Region.